Tunic at its core is a Souls-like retro-styled action-adventure game, which to be honest isn't really my thing, but after only an hour of gameplay, it managed to drag me deeper into its world and it became something so much more. This is the review of Tunic. I dove into Tunic not knowing a damn thing about the game, and as I booted it up, I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little surprised it was a Souls-like game, as I'm not really into the genre. Well, that may be changing after Tunic. After 20 hours of Tunic, I'm actually loving the challenge of having only one life in a game, or the lack of continuous saves, I should say. It brings with it an extra weight when you're deep into a tomb with only a sliver of life left, and one hit can send you back 30 minutes. Every move feels a little more important. Every fight carries a little more meaning. Come on, baby. Let's go! Let's go! Come on! You wake up on a beach as a super cute little fox with a tunic, and the sounds of waves washing up on the beach and the chill music lull you into this beautifully crafted world, and the world is quite incredible. It's also very mysterious. The more you wander around the map, the more you realize just how awesome it is. And not only is it awesome because of the things that you can see, but the things that you can't see. Tunic has god tier hidden loot. And not only loot, but pretty much everything is hidden in some way, shape, or form. Entire areas of the map are completely hidden. You truly have to poke around every corner of the map if you want to discover everything Tunic has to offer. That brings me to the beautiful texts and maps you can find around this world. There are no waypoints to guide you. Instead, they opted to direct you on your adventure through these beautifully crafted directions. They're mostly in some strange language, but they give you just enough to guide you through the game without holding your hand. And it does it in such a great way, adding to the mystery and intrigue by even making the maps their own little game. I love it. I love every little detail in the directions and maps. It's an important part of the game, and instead of making it a boring little map, they really went above and beyond. Subscribe to Rage Review. The music in Tunic is fantastic and abundant. Almost every area has its own style of music that goes along with it. And being a music nerd, this made me really happy, as there's nothing worse than a great game with below average music. When you go into a dark area, you're greeted with a darker tone of music, and the same goes for the opposite. Music is a very important part of gaming, and Tunic does not disappoint in that department. The underlying story in Tunic isn't a massive part of the game, and that's a good thing. You don't need a hundred cutscenes and expensive animations to get your point across, and Tunic proves this. Instead, Tunic's story is embedded into the map and gameplay, and this story progresses closer to the end of the game. The combat in Tunic is also pretty great. It's a fairly standard setup for this style of game. Dodge, attack, block with some special moves and items, including plenty of useful weapons to help you along the way. The enemy variation is also quite large and each seem to have their own patterns of attack, which takes some getting used to, but once you do, you will find it becomes easier and easier to dispatch groups of enemies. As you gain more experience, you can unlock stat upgrades and take on tougher enemies and that's where the bosses come in. Don't let the cute retro stylings of this game or the relaxing music fool you. Tunic is a challenging game. The boss battles offer a rewarding experience both in the difficulty of beating bosses and in the rewards you reap. I'm not gonna lie, for someone new to this style of game, the bosses are quite difficult, but learning how to fight them has been a really rewarding aspect of the game. It definitely takes me back to the days of playing games in the 90s. It has all the feels of a retro game. The style, the sound, the maps, but with a modern touch. Incredibly clean graphics, vibrant colors, and great animations. It all adds up to a truly unique and beautiful experience. After giving the Souls-like genre a couple of tries, nothing has latched onto me quite like Tunic has. This really isn't my style of game, but here I find myself 20 hours deep and fully in love with this little fox and this world that is full of hidden passages and loot. Entire sections of the map can be hidden right under your nose waiting to be found. Maybe it's the constant surprises or how Tunic looks like my dog or how it brings me back to that childhood wonderment games made me feel in the 90s. There are too many reasons to love this game. So I'll wrap things up by saying try to 
tunic out. It's a wonderful experience, and I believe it will go down as one of the better games to come out this year. And it's on Game Pass, so if you have that, I don't know what the fuck you're waiting for. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. This has been Eli with Rage Review. Take care, nerds.